Hi, my name is Richard Vaudry, and welcome to Melbourne Symphony Orchestra's Beethoven Bites. Throughout this series, we'll discover some of the musical secrets that Beethoven's genius teaches us by exploring his seventh symphony. From how he used the instruments of the symphony orchestra to express the deepest of human emotions, to his brilliance in constructing whole symphonies out of small ideas. Is it possible Beethoven taught us everything we need to know about music in just one symphony? Let's find out. In this first bite, we're going to explore the genius of simplicity, how the great improviser Beethoven turns seemingly basic musical ideas into symphonies of epic proportions. Here's the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Let's take that image of a symphony of epic proportions and have a listen to this. That is not what I imagined. Not even close. That was 25 seconds of the note E. Can that be right? Let's check the score. Yep, a lot of rests and a handful of E's. It's not quite the epic symphony I imagined. I was expecting Beethoven to be more this. You see, here lies one of the keys to Beethoven's brilliance. The ability to take a small and accessible musical idea, then build upon it with variances in harmony, rhythm and orchestration to create something epic. The skill is that even when it reaches maximum complexity, we the listener can still connect with the small and accessible idea that's still present in the music. For example, Take this one transitional passage from the first movement of Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. These few notes are a window into Beethoven's thought process. Through this window is revealed the exact thinking of an improvisational composer, taking a simple idea, playing with it and developing it. You can literally hear Beethoven feeling it out as he goes. Let's have another listen. Okay, I've finished with one idea. Hmm, let's look for another. Let's strip this back. Just the ease now. Let's slow down the rhythm. Let them wonder what's gonna happen next. Good amount of space and uncertainty. How about an upbeat to the E? Ooh, I like that. Hmm, it's good. Let's make a rhythm out of that. Dotted six eight feel. This'll work. All right. Let's go. Mm, yeah. This could go somewhere. Awesome, right? Beethoven confirms this himself. You see, like many other great composers, 
Beethoven was a renowned improviser. He stated himself, I sat down, began to improvise, sad or happy, according to my mood, serious or trifling. Once I had seized upon an idea, my whole endeavour was to develop and sustain it, keeping with the rules of art. There is many a great story documented in Beethoven's history about his phenomenal improvisational abilities. No one has heard improvised playing unless he has heard Beethoven, stated John Baptist Kramer, another great pianist. It was even customary in Beethoven's time for piano duels, pretty much like a rap battle, where crowds would gather to watch two pianists battle it out with improvisations at the keyboard. After getting whooped in one of these duels, Beethoven's opponent admitted, I did not touch my piano for several days. So here's the game. While enjoying listening to Beethoven, listen for his basic idea. And most of the time, it's really basic. And then revel in the ways Beethoven develops it. Let's go back to the start of the symphony. Hit, listen to the long notes. Brilliant. The basic idea was four minims, three descending and one ascending. So simple. So this process of taking a simple idea and then developing it into something new and more complex shows Beethoven's genius. We connect and can grab onto these small accessible ideas. And then we are taken somewhere unimaginable while still having the comfort and familiarity of our small idea. It makes the inaccessible complexity and daring, logical, exciting, and moving. So go and be a Beethoven. Take four notes, experiment with them, try them backwards or upside down. Put the first one last or the last one first. Layer them, speed them up, slow them down. But then again, maybe just do what feels right. Who knows? you might just turn them into something truly remarkable. No pressure.